In this Rhino for Architecture tutorial, I want to show you how you can model this boiler suit easily in Rhino. As you can see here, uh, this is the facade. And let's just show this, okay? And you can see that uh, I'm going to explain how easily you can model this in Rhino. So first of all, we have to model this panel and also model the connection between the two corners. Uh, at the corner of this panel, we have to explain to Rhino what will happen here because there are two set of panels. First is the main panels, as you can see here, and the second is the connection at the corners. So we have two sets, and here is the one, and this is the second set of panels at the corners. So uh, I'm going to explain this, how you can easily model this in Rhino, and we can delete uh, whenever uh, wherever we want and define the entrance uh, exactly as you can see here we have an entrance and so the most important thing is how to model this panel in Rhino so let's get started first of all I'm going to uh, explain let me just show you here uh, how we made one of these panels. Uh, it's going to be easy. As you can see here, this panel uh, has a simple curve. And let me just duplicate the border. And you can see it here. Okay. Uh, this curve is basically uh, mirrored to produce the upper curve. So if I just mirror this curve in the center, you can see that this curve is at the top you can see it and if I mirror this in the 90 degrees rotate this in 90 degrees maybe 90 degrees uh, or rotate this in this direction uh, you can see that this can go also for this curve and this curve so what I'm going to do is uh, first of all, explain how easily you can produce the curves, then produce the surface. Then we're going to work on the corners and it's going to finish here. Okay, so I'm going to first of all go and draw a simple line here. And what I'm going to draw is, uh, let's just go and start from the center at the mid, uh, go in a linear in an angle direction and then again straight so I'm going to use the tab and put it here okay uh, we need to mirror this so I'm going to mirror this two times one is here and another one here okay I just made these polylines to produce the base of the curve so this will be I'm, I'm going to draw it again now we can just move this and here we go that's the polyline we can easily produce the curve by using this tool curve control points from polyline and uh, by using this tool uh, you can easily make the uh, corners of a polyline into the control points of a NURBS curve so I'm going to go and use this tool and as you can see we have degree 3 here and the curve type is control point so that's okay and you can see that the curve is produced easily and you can also scale this in the y direction or the x direction if you want to give it different curvatures so now we can just have a mirror here at the center and at the mid and I'm using shift key to just use the x direction okay we can move this up and we have to produce the uh, 90 degrees curves too so I'm going to uh, have a copy paste of this and have a 90 degree rotation here we go we can move this up at the corners and you can see it here okay let's just move this again move this to the top of here and we need the next and the last curve here just by another mirror and at the center with a shift key in the x direction and here it goes we can move this here and you can see how easily i made those curves and i'm just going to connect these by a network of curves surface from network and that's okay 
And here you can see uh, how easily I made the panel. So uh, the next step, let's just go here and the next step is to just mirror the surface and now uh, remember you have to have this curvature inside to produce the panels so if you just uh, had something like this let's assume that you have something like this and just uh, mirror this again so that is why I deleted the last model I made okay so now we need to just make a copy using the alt key I'm moving this up and we can just rotate this 180 degrees and move this to the corner and we're good to go and you can see this is the base model you can just scale this in the uh, y direction if you want to give it a more curvature you can see that this is the okay let's go to the render then you can see uh, how easily I think that I just didn't snap this okay so let's just move this to the corner here we go and you can see easily how we can model this panel and scale it a little bit uh, or scale it in the X direction and define the length of it okay so now what I'm going to do is to have an array linear six times maybe four times and put this here okay and we have to make the corners so let me just make a copy and paste here and rotate this 90 degrees and move this at the corners okay so uh, what is happening at the corners what I'm going to do is to move this from up here to here okay and uh, now we need to just make this section so let's just make this uh, connection between these two panels two set of panels and what I'm going to do is to rebuild this panel at the corners because as you can see here we have another panel here and we have to remodel this okay so what I'm going to do is to make a duplicate edge and put this edge up and use the rotate uh, 3d okay or you can you, you just right click on this rotate 3d and rotate this in the Z direction and rotate this just 45 degrees so it's 90 degrees I'm going to use minus 45 I think yes that's right okay this is the curve for one of our borders now let's just use the duplicate border tool to produce the border here and now let me just explode that and delete this and we have this curve we have the curve here and we have this curve here and what I need here is to connect this to here and we can simply use extend here and I'm going to use extend to produce okay let's just use extend the boundary is here and the curve I want to extend and the type is I'm going to use arc this is going to be arc and select this curve and you can see uh, if I just draw an arc I will not connect to here so I'm going to use two point so it will just automatically uh, calculate the curvature and here we go and that's okay and you can see that we just made this uh, down of the part of this panel and now we can just connect and use all of these four curves to produce the network so I'm going to go to the network and say okay and here we go so you can see that this is produced we can just delete this delete this and now we have the base of this you can rebuild this if you want to make that uh, curves okay so maybe that's just a 20 to 20 okay now we can just uh, mirror this in the 45 degrees so I'm going to draw a line and now let's just go to the line section use angled and 
have a 45 degrees. Okay, that's going to be minus 45 degrees. Minus 45. And this will help us to mirror this properly. So I'm going to use the mirror and go for it. Okay, you can see that's going to make this. And now we need the up part of this. So we go to again mirror. And now I'm going to use three points because we need a plane here. So I'm going to say the plane is basically a plane here which we want to mirror this. So we can just use these three points and these three points are in a plane. So that will be okay. So the first point, the second point, and here we go. The last one. And as you can see, we can easily produce the panels at the corners. So this is the two set of panels we need. Now we just can copy this up. Okay, from here, up here, and that's it. So you can easily model this bo uh, boiler suit. And if you want to make uh, something like uh, these entrance, you can easily, okay, let's just make one. We need an entrance here. So what I'm going to do is produce a box. And you can just make this uh, going inside. Okay. And up here. Okay, here you can see you can easily make the entrance. And let's just explode this and delete this and here we go this is the entrance so you can easily produce a solid by using the shell command so I'm using the shell and let's just do this and the thickness is one I'm going to change this I'm going to check this if it's okay and delete this and this face okay so the one is okay and you can see how easily you can produce an entrance or we can use the shell and you delete this face, this face and this face and you can see how easily you can make the entrance and uh, the surface is also okay you can see that this is the curvature and it will produce the panels exactly as the boiler suit facade so uh, I hope that this tutorial helps you and you understood how you can easily use simple curves to produce uh, panels such as this in the boiler suit, uh, boiler suit uh, facade. And thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe to the channel and comment uh, this underneath this video if you have any questions or suggestions. And thank you for your feedback. Uh, thank you for watching.